Welcome back, everybody, to round two of Sierra Saturday. So we are as passionate Patty. We just noticed that Larry walked off into the forest. So we have to get dressed. Okay. Wait, uh, oh, we just got the dress. Okay, so where undies? Wear underwear. Okay. Wear bra. Okay. Wear panty. Pantyhose. Okay. Now wear dress. Okay. So I think I am fully dressed now. Uh, get bottle. We want to get the bottle because we're going to have to traverse the, uh, we're going to have to traverse the, um, the forest. Now, there is a trick to it. There is, is actually a trick to traversing the forest. Um, press lobby. Okay. So, yes, there is, um, this is another, yet another copyright protection thing. Um, they were really protective of their, their, uh, their copyright stuff. So... While we're here, we are going to come over here and we're going to fill bottle. Okay. So, yes. Um, we fill the bottle with water because we're going to need water uh, for traversing the forest. Now, you can get a clue uh, as far as where to go by going and... Um, Man. Oh, right. It's so it's forty-two ninety-five to get in. So we need money. Uh, thankfully, our tip jar is still should still be there. Um, so we need to go up to the lounge and get our tip jar. And I think there's also something else we're supposed to. Yes. Get marker. Okay. Great. A magic marker. A girl never knows when she'll need a little magic in her life. Get tips. Okay. Feed the kitty. All right. So now we have money with which to go get into the uh, the Chippendale, um, the Chippendale show. Urgh, sorry, my leg itches. Uh, <laughs> I know that, I don't know, that may look a little weird because I'm kind of like slanted to the side and stuff like that on camera. Uh, but okay, so now we go in. Hey, man. I just happen to have $43 in tips. Wow. Why, thank you, thank you very much, ma'am. I know you'll enjoy the show. All right, so now we sit. Okay. Ladies and ladies, Chippendales is proud to present in person tonight only for one show only. The first, the original, the greatest, the owner, Dale. A smattering of applause. So yes, now we're watching a male strip show because, hey, equality. Now we want to throw panties. To Dale. Okay, you slip off your Saturday night specials and readjust your pantyhose all in one smooth movement. This seems rather practiced. So yes, he throws us a shirt, we throw him our panties. Hey Dale, these are for you. Take me big boy, I'm yours. So yes, now we have a pixelized, uh, we're, we're watching a pixelized um, banana hammock. 
Okay, ladies, let's hear it for him. Isn't he wonderful? And he just dances backwards and conveniently picks up the panties that we threw. Yay! So now we just kind of sit here and, and relax for a little bit and fan ourselves and... Patty, look! It's him! Dale! He's here! Walking through the audience! <coughs> hey, that was you that threw that lovely pair of panties at me, wasn't it? Asks Dale. You look lonely. Would you like a little company? So look at man. Okay. Hello, handsome. My name's Patty, but you may call me Passionate. Thanks, Patty. And you may call me Dale. Talk to Dale. So, Dale, is there any way through that treacherous bamboo forest that lies to the north of the village? Patty, all I can say is, when all else feels, fails, read your manual. So, yes, um... Basically, the, the path through the forest is... Can I tell him about Larry? You have to simply have to help me find my friend, find Larry, Larry Laffer. He is, is there any way you can help me? Patty, I'm no pathfinder, but I know this. The answer doesn't lie with anyone in this village. Okay, so he tells us basically, read your manual. It's been a pleasure talking with you, Dale. Hey, I hope you find your man, Patty. I'm sure we will. Alright, so in the manual, um, basically there is a song. Uh, a song dedicated to this, you know, this island. So we're going to save real fast. And forest. Um, and basically, it it's the, the first letter of each word tells you the direction you need to go. So it's, let's see here, we need to go north. North, east twice, and you'll notice as we go along, she gets a little more, a, a little more weary and a little more kind of, you know, hunched over. North, west, what? Oh, uh, let's see here. So west and north again. East and north three times. Drink water. Okay, once, twice, Three times. Now we go west, west, and south. West, west, and south, because we have no choice. Uh, and then south, west, and west. South, west. West. Drink water. North. North, west, and north. Okay, so north, north, west, and north. North, north. West. Don't die on me, Patty. Come on. North. You did it! As you stumble out of the bamboo forest, you find yourself beside a beautiful stream. Drink. 
All right, so we're going to save again because that just makes sense. Drink. All right. Now we're refreshed. We're ready to go again. Uh, get vine? Pick leaf? Plants here are of no use to you. Plant. Plants are of no use to you. Okay. All right. Uh, I don't think we need to do anything then. Um, take off pantyhose. Okay. So we need to tie pantyhose to rock. That is, if I can spell it correctly. Okay. All right, so yes, now, the, the thank goodness these are support hoes because we're going to basically, we're going to rappel down on pantyhose. Uh, <laughs> I don't think that quite works the way we're planning, that, that, that it's showing, but it works. Oh no, your pantyhose broke. Splat, face first. You slowly recover from your near tragic pantyhosing and try to remember why you are here. You're here for Larry, baby. Oh, of course, L it's Larry you're seeking. So as she stands up, you'll notice that there are two Mondo holes in the rock. Now we can pick him. Okay. So yes, illegal drugs, yay. Um, make rope, okay. Now, uh, tear dress climb tree you wrap your slender thighs around uh, the long cylindrical trunk an experience not wholly unfamiliar to you get coconuts okay reaching beneath the palm tree's frond kilt you grab a pair of large brown hairy nuts experience not wholly unfamiliar to you. I'm down. Okay. Rope to rock. Okay. So yes, uh, we need to, to, basically we're going to cross the ravine with this rope that we've made. Tie rope to tree. Okay. Now we've got a rope, but we need a harness. So we're gonna tear dress. Make harness. Wear harness. You can't wear what's not yours. Okay, I think we've got everything, but just to make sure we're gonna save again. Use rope. Climb rope. Okay. Before climbing onto your rope, you slip your into your safety harness. You, uh, will it be strong enough to hold you? You wrap your long, delicate pianist fingers and your long, delicate pianist legs around your handy handmade rope, squeezing your legs tightly together, an experience wholly unfamiliar to you. You move out over the canyon. You feel a, you feel certain your informal safety harness will help you pass safely over this canyon. But are your feelings correct? Yes, they are, because I played this game so much when I was a kid. Your improvised safety harness works. You feel you may cr be able to make it all the way across. Yeah, I know this game really well. Even after so... I haven't played it in ages, but I remember this. You did it, Patty! But how... But now you wonder if you there was something you forgot before you left. Of course, you could always take the rope back across. Patty, you're not around. The palm tree came loose. Now there's no way to turn... There's no turning back now. Yeah. Uh, we're gonna save again. That's rope two this time. 
Okay, so. Put nuts in bra. Oh, take off bra. Put nuts in bra. Okay. So now we have an armed, uh, slingshot. Throw nuts at four. At pig. Find use bra on pig. Sling nuts at pig. Um. <laughs> okay, so the it needs a specific wording. Um. Use sling. What did you wish to throw? Um... Okay, so it's fully loaded. Um, okay, there we go. We were just too close, apparently. So, there we go. So, we're, now we're going to sling two coconuts in our bra at the pig and knock him into the... Here, 36C Bola has done its duty. But you have noticed... But have you noticed you're running dangerously low on clothes? All right, so... Uh, let's save again. Pig. Okay. Um, get on log. Okay. You mount the gnarly log. An experience not wholly unfamiliar to you. Boy, this is fun, but sitting on a log, uh, okay. Row. Move log. Good idea, but it's difficult to... Uh, okay, get off log. Okay. Push log. Okay. Now. Mount log. Okay. Yada, yada, yada. Okay, so now we are we are on our way down the river. And we're going to save real quick. Because if I remember right, this is one of those... Press F-A to bypass this scene. Okay. So we can... Yeah, see? It's tricky to do... It, it, it was... Okay. Skipping ahead. Alright, so yes, we can, we can bypass this, thankfully. You finally make your way past all the obstacles and arrive at a pleasant little clearing. This might be a good spot to take a short rest. You look for a piece of beach, for a place to beach your trusty log. Look out! Whoa! What have they done to you, Patty? Mother effin' whorebag! You've been captured by non tonight's famous tribe of Amazonian women, lesbian, cannibal natives! There we go. Um, now what will you do? How will you ever find your Larry? On the other hand, where do they find such stylish outfits way out here in the wilderness? Really good question. Ah, yes, the men are slaves, I think. Knocked unconscious, securely wrapped in the Amazonian woman cannibal's net. You hang over your you hang over her shoulders like a sack of potatoes in an army mess. Well. Oh, Patty, where will they take you? What 
will happen to you? What will they do to you? What will happen to you? <gasps> and will there be a hairdresser available to you afterwards? Maybe. You are jostled through the village, paraded about the square, handed roughly, battered, and bruised, then placed in a cage made of bamboo and leather. An experience not wholly unfamiliar to you. Man, Patty has lived. Damn. You fondly recall the blind date you went on with Juilliard. As you slowly regain consciousness, the blackness leaves your brain and you realize that you are no longer tied up in the net, but you but something tells you you are no longer alone. <gasps> Larry, it's you! Patty, it's you! Oh, I've missed you so! Kiss, 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 kiss. Oh, Larry, I just couldn't believe it when you left. I can't believe how much how it felt to have finally found a perfect match and then have you disappear into thin air. I awakened to an empty bed, rushed to the balcony, and saw you disappear through the horrible bamboo forest. So I started out after you, and I found you. We're together again, at least... At last, and this time, to stay. But tell me, Larry, why did you go? Whatever caused you to leave like that? You. You did, Patty. After the most fantastic night of my life, just as I was drifting away into a blissful sleep, I heard you murmur the word Arnold. Why, Patty, if I'm so special, why would you speak someone else's name? Weren't you, th were, weren't you thinking of him while we made love? Oh, Larry, you wonderful, fragile fool. I was thinking of him because I was trying to figure out how to tell him I was going to leave him for you. Patty, I am a fool. But what's the difference? At least we understand. We both feel the same way for each other. We'll be together for the rest of our lives, all five minutes of them. Speaking of which, you did come here to rescue me, didn't you? You do have some sort of plan, don't you? I didn't travel all this way just so you could join me for dinner in their stomachs. Um, well, sure. Let me think of something. Okay, so now we use marker. Okay. Larry, I don't know if this will work or not, but the only thing I can think of is this magic marking pen I picked up back at the lounge. Let me see if I can draw us a way out of this mess. Apparently the answer is yes! Patty, you did it! At least you did something. What is that? A magic door? I don't know, Larry, but from the looks of things hereabouts, I don't want to stay around here. Come on, let's get out of here. I'm right behind you, honey. See you on the other side. Mother effing whorebag! Patty! So we have successfully fallen out of the game. I'm falling! Larry, what happened? I don't know, Patty, but it feels like we just fell out of the game. Ha! The question is, where will we end up next? Meanwhile, back at Sierra Studios, workers are busy filming yet another exciting episode of the never-ending saga of Sony, Sony Bonds, the citizen and the citizens of Lighton, California, USA. Quiet on the set, please. Music. Lights. Camera. Action! So they're saying, like, the, the chase scenes in Police Quest are, like, actually the, you know, actually filmed on a, on a table and stuff like that. That's kind of funny. Craig, look out! Get out of here! As we come falling through the set. Wow. Uh-huh! Watch out, Godzilla Larry, or you'll destroy the city of Lighton! And get yourself electrocuted! Poo! 
boom! <laughs> wow, some guys really know how to make an entrance. Staggering to his feet, Larry surveys his new surroundings. Larry spots you lying motionless on the floor beneath the miniature city of light and... Patty, are you okay? I guess so. But if I keep doing my own stunts, I'm going to end up flat-chested. Come on, Larry. Let's get out from under here. But what is this place, Larry? Good question. Although it does seem familiar... You take the lead, Patty. Let's explore. Okay. So there's the King's Quest uh, thing. There's the uh, the the um, the cab from the first game. There's the salesman from uh, Space Quest, the Monolith Burger. Larry, stop being a douche. Thank you. All right. Whoa! Mother of an whore bag! Now what? We're weightless! The space quest stuff. So, we need to turn off the, uh, the, the magnet here, obviously. You must be upside down in order to reach the plug from where you are. Okay! So we turn off the anti-grav machine while Larry's like, all the way up in the air. This is not gonna end well. Look, Larry! You cry, I did it! The anti-gravity generator is unplugged! Wait a minute, Patty, if there's no anti-gravity, you're both falling on your patooties. Wow, Patty, that was a rough one. What's next? Oh! Okay, so yes, the, the King's Quest for Whale Tongue. Oh, this one was a pain in the butt. Drop that camera left! No, no. No, move back! Good, good, that's fine. Stop right there. Now, Rosella, what do you say we take it again from the top? This time, really show some... Really show me some emotion! And... Action! Nope, you can't climb straight up, Rosella. I know that. Cut! No, that's no good. Try it from the right side this time. And I think... I don't remember which side you have to do, but you have to go, like, from the side at an angle up. And... Action! Oh, cut! You slipped again, Rosella! This one... I, I... This was a pain in the butt in the... In King's Quest 4 was the, the... The whale tongue because it was like there was one specific path but you couldn't see it. There was no indication of where you had to climb or how you had to climb. Cut! How many times we gotta do this? Must we do this, Rosella? You must get all the way up to that uvula. What's going on here, Patty? I don't know, Larry, but that girl certainly seems tired of going down on that tongue. Ha <laughs> ha! Yeah! This just isn't right, whines the actress on the giant tongue set. It's too humid in here. This is a this wool skirt keeps soaking up water. That goo you spread on the tongue is too slippery. I haven't given you haven't given me any motivation for this scene yet. Thank you very much, Rosella. If you have any other complaints, please don't let me stop you. Well yes, I do. I thought this was a closed set. Who are those people over there? Yeep! They've noticed us. Cheese it! Who are you and how did you... And who are you? And who are you? What are you doing here? How did you get in? Come over here right now. 
Okay. Hi. As you move closer. Why, Larry, look, it's Roberta Williams. Oh, Miss Williams, I love your, I've loved your games for years. It's an honor to, it's an, what an honor this is to finally meet my software hero. Well, yes, I, uh, I, 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 I am Roberta Williams, but who are you? Well, Roberta, I'm Passionate Patty, the world-famous lounge pianist. The, the gentleman to your right is my lover. His name is Larry, Larry Laffer. Nice to meet you both, but how did you get in here? This is supposed to be a high-security area. You just dropped in. Literally. Well, actually, Roberta, we got one hell of a venture, yada, 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 all this. Okay, enough, enough, but what about him? I may have had, I, I have had quite a few adventures in my day, too. Really? Anything that might make an adventure game? And this was one of the things that, the third one kind of broke the fourth wall for both Larry and Space Quest, because both of them, you go to Sierra's offices. So yes, Larry gets a job programming his, uh, programming his adventures into Sierra games. And now we have a home on the lake as he programs and she probably does music for the games. And so it ends with 37,000 or 3,713 points out of 4,000. He begins to tell a story by programming the games. Now, let's see now. It all began in Lost Wages. Louis? No. Louis? No. Hey, Patty, give me a name for a bar. How about lefties? I like it. And apparently he's, like, typing in the nude, I think. She's half nude. Maybe I should compile and test this. And I think my camera just died. Okay, so yes, there's he's he's testing out the the first Leisure Suit Larry game, and that is that is it. That's that's the game. So as always, thank you so much for watching, and stay tuned for more from Olav Productions. Cheerio! And there's Death One. The conclu this, that concludes your experiment on the effects of vacuum on the unprotected human body. Wasn't that fun? Challenging as they did not pause the action when you were typing out what you wanted to do. As you were typing to open a door, someone could easily come along behind you and kill you.